Bismillah. everyone. In my last presentation, pearls from the pediatric emergency ward. Why had this healthy newborn baby stopped nursing? I presented a scenario in which a baby is brought to the pediatric ward in a Pakistani hospital by parents from a religious Jamaati sort of background. And then I presented a case history and asked you to guess what the etiology of the baby's condition might be. This scenario is of course hypothetical but I based it closely on a factual clinical account that being of a baby who was brought to a hospital in New York and who presented with identical symptoms. This the actual clinical case is presented in the article the baby who stopped eating by dr robert marion which was published in the august 1998 edition of discover magazine presently as for our fictional pakistani analog of the baby who stopped eating. Let's quickly recap. A baby who is less than a week old has been brought to the pediatric emergency. He stopped nursing a few days after birth. Now he's completely listless, neither feeding nor moving, and has developed what is called flaccid paralysis, in which an infant very quickly loses the ability to control his muscles and will resemble a rag doll when held. He's developed a disease known as infant botulism. It's a form of food poisoning. And he developed it because his parents fed him honey. In this presentation, I'm going to fast forward to the more imperative line of discussion. Why are religiously observant Muslims, especially those from the non-Western world, adhering to this ritual of feeding infants honey? But as a preface, if you don't have prior knowledge of infant botulism and why pediatricians all over the first world instruct parents to never feed honey to a child of under 12 months of age please first see a brief write-up that i've left in the text box of this video underneath the heading botulism infant botulism and how feeding a baby honey is one of the leading causes of this fatal disease. Presently, back to the question of why people in countries like Pakistan continue to adhere to the ritual of feeding honey to infants in general and newborns in particular. In an article that was published in the British Medical Journal in 2012, Infant Botulism Following Honey Ingestion, the authors wrote that 15.6% of babies in Pakistan may receive honey, quote unquote, as pre-lacteal feeds often influenced by the elders in the family. Why? It's because of something known as Tehneek, which is a Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 1502 it was narrated by Anas that he took a newborn baby to Allah's Messenger وسلم, so that he وسلم, could perform tehnik for him and parenthetically it's written that tehnik was a custom amongst the Muslims that whenever a child was born they used to take it to the Prophet وسلم, who would chew a piece of date and put some of its juice in the child's mouth. Just like the Prophet وسلم, left his Ummah with the two Eids and today the majority of the Muslims in the world celebrate three so the Prophet وسلم, left his Ummah with the ritual of feeding a chewed up date to a newborn baby and so Muslims feed newborns honey and call it the meek. In an article that was published in the journal Food Research in May 2012, honey born, honey born infant botulism in technique practice. The authors write, the proper method for performing technique is to feed newborns dates, not honey, as explained by all three of the Islamic scholars they conferred with, and three literature reviews of Tehnik. Further, they say, there is no single reference, either from the Holy Quran or the Hadith, to the use of honey in Tehnik. The only substance ever used by the Prophet in Tehnik was dates. Now you can easily verify this yourself on databases such as sunnah.com you will find that there are 10 references to Tehnik in total all in the authentic books of the Hadith and not one of these 10 even mentions the word honey or anything other than dates. And yet on what according to my understanding is the most authoritative and widely read portal of Islamic knowledge in the world today. Islam or info in Question number 7889, they write, Tehnik means putting something sweet, such as dates or honey, in the child's mouth when he is first born. Wake up, brothers and sisters wake up our ship is sinking 